script for contextual studies. Define what is editing. Editing is the art of arranging different types of clips in a certain order, which make them self-viewable. These could vary from audio to video clips to written text. These overall, when put together, make something which we know as a video. A video then is grouped based on its qualities, such as length, content and overall style design. Based on these qualities, a video will have variations such as montages, big screen movies, music videos and many others. This is just a little bit about the history of editing and how it became what we know as today. To be able to edit a series of clips, it is important to remember that you need to talk about something called filming. Filming was originally created around the 1890s, as the first motion picture camera were created. After nearly three decades of filming, the first signs of what we call editing started to appear, as in the year 1918, the first experiment of film and editing were conducted. A Russian individual known as Len Kuleshov was one of the first people who theorized and tested out this. It's thanks to him that we know we now have modern cinema. One of his main experiments was the Kuleshov experiment. This consisted of him filming different scenes of different subjects and objects. The first scene was a still frame of himself. This scene was kept the same uh, for all of them uh, and was the start of each one of the experiments. The second frame was instead a different scene every time. In the first part of the experiment, the second scene was a short elderly woman in a casket. In the second part of the experiment, the second scene was a bowl of soup. And in the third part of the experiment, the second scene was an attractive lady laying on a sofa. All of these scenes were edited in a groups of two, and then shown to a group of people. The people's reactions were then recorded and the results were actually interesting. The group of had a different reaction for each scene. In the first one, people felt sadness as they saw the person who was looking at a short elderly woman in a casket. In the second scene, they felt hunger as they saw a man looking at a bowl of soup. In the first and last scene, the group felt lost as they saw an attractive lady laying on a sofa. The interesting fact was that the group felt different emotions viewing each different clip and they actually congratulated and praised the director of the clip as they could see clearly the emotion that they were expressed in each scene. The interesting thing about this outcome is that the scenes were taken at different times from each other and the first clip of the man staring was the same for all the clips. By looking at this, Len Kuleshov could come to the conclusion that different scenes would make the viewer have different reactions and feelings. Here's just a little bit more in depth about the history of editing and film studies. The first type of trophies that were created um, related to film, to film and filming was the Oscars. An Oscar is the name given to the annual award given by the US-based Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Science for achievement in film industry. The awards are given in the tw 24 annual categories and six specific categories. The first awards were given in 1929 in a low publicized event held in Hollywood's Roosevelt Hotel, attended by only 270 people. The first award received very little media attention because the recipients have been announced three months earlier. For the next award, the Academy decided to keep results secret, but gave the list to the newspapers for the next day's edition. In 1940, the Los Angeles Times broke the embargo and publicized the name of the winners in the evening edition. Since then, the Academy has adopted the sealed envelope system, which is used uh, in still today. Although the first award had no media audience, um, from the second year the ceremony witnessed a boom in popularity when it was broadcast live on radio. Thanks to Lenz Kuleshov and his uh, many experiments, uh, many people started experimenting themselves as, and created new techniques. One of them was montage. There are three types of montage meanings. The first one is French film. French film stands for assembling, installing, and basically identifies editing. The second one is Soviet filmmaking of the 1920s. This one is divided in two different sections, the first one being the Kuleshov experiment, which we talked about before, and the second one is the Sergei, Sergei Einstein. This second one was created by a student of Kuleshov. The student, though, had a different mindset than the teacher, Kuleshov. The third one and last uh, meaning of montage is the Hollywood scene cinema. This one is all about putting scenes together which narrate a story overall. An example of this is um, 
some movies when they just show consecutive numbers of clips followed by a music video. That is a montage. A great example of this is the Rocky Balboa film, when they show a clip of him training in different locations, one after the other, improving improving as he goes along. When talking about editing styles, the French New Wave is one to be considered. The French New Wave style is a type of editing which is much freer and allows much more liberty to its um, creator, as it does not follow the traditional type of editing which has been taught in the Hollywood style film editing. It was created in the 1950s, 90s, 60s and it's known for especially for the lack of continuity a known technique used often in this kind of style is jump cuts. A perfect example of jump cuts is from the Royal Tenen Baus, where the main protagonist is shaven and the scene skips from time to time and it feels as if you missed something out of this clip. Jump cuts are when you edit different scenes together with each other and when put, in, put together it looks as if you do not connect but instead as if you missed a section of the film. There's not only editing styles, there's also editing traits, which are very important in the filming industry, especially in the editing se section. In the classic Hollywood editing traits, the three main important types of rules are the 180 degrees rule, the eye line rule, and the shot reverse shot. The first one which I'm going to talk about is the 180 degrees rule. This rule clarifies the way in which the camera position should and shouldn't be. As you can see in the clip, the camera view changes repeatedly. The view needs to follow a certain procedure if it wants to work. Basically, the camera view must not change to the opposite side, as otherwise you would be seeing the camera recording the previous clip. This means that the two or more characters must keep the left-right left relationship. In this, if this is not the case, then the clip is called crossing the line. A perfect example of this is in the VGHS clip I've been showing up to now, um, how, which explains how the 180 degree rule is broken and crossing the line is used. The main reason why I say this is because the camera would be showing in the background otherwise as characters are talking to each other and the camera keeps moving. The next rule which I'm going to talk about is the eye line rule. The eye line rule works by showing usually the character we have been following most of the movie looking at something off screen. In the next clip you will see what the character is looking at. A good example of eyeline is in the clip of Monster Zinc, which I've been showing during the period of the now, where the kid is looking at something, but we can't see it at first. After that, we find he is looking at the door in his bedroom. The next rule I'm going to be talking about is the shot reverse shot. A couple of clips use this technique called the shot reverse shot. This is when two individuals are talking to one another and are facing each other. The camera angle will change from one individual to another and it's important to know how the camera angles should be set, otherwise the whole scene will not match properly. For an instance, the camera should be shown, showing the back of at least one of the characters to show that they are actually talking to each other. Last but not least, um, another important uh, editing trait which is usually used in films and all that and even TV shows is the match on action. This technique is used in movies and clips. This type of clip consists of two specific scenes. Both of them show somebody performing an activity, such as opening a door, um, but show but show it in different angles. Basically, we see the individual performing an action um, in the first scene and continue it in the second one. We talked about editing styles and editing traits, but we have missed an important part which is uh, used very often in all movies and videos. These are the editing transitions. Many different types of editing transitions exist, but these are the main important ones. The first one which we're going to talk about is straight cuts. The most used, most used type of transition. It does not break the viewer's suspension and it helps retain reality, as it does not break the viewer's suspension of disbelief. A perfect example is in the Honest trailer, where each scene is changed using straight cuts. The next type of editing transition which we're going to talk about is dissolves. One picture starts to disappear, but you can still see it when you look at the next scene. It is used usually to show connection between two characters. In one of the Grease songs called Summer Night, a dissolve is used, as we see the two main characters singing at the same time, and the girl fades in the scene to show the connection between the two. The next type of editing transition which we're going to talk about is fades. Um, this is all about uh, 
white or black screens covering a certain scene. It is used to end a particular scene and can show the passing of time. It is used also in many action and superhero trailers um, to create suspense. A perfect example um, of this is in the official trailer of The Dark Knight Rises. In the first part of the trailer, the scenes keep changing from normal clips to, s to straight black screens for a couple of seconds each time. It is using this content to give the viewer a sense of suspense. This shows us how effective this type of editing transition can be. Lastly, why is it important to edit? Editing is done because it makes the movie give a better and stronger impact to the audience, as more understanding of the clip will be shown. Editing is also done to create a more of a story, as scenes or clips are presented one after the other in a certain order.